Hey guys, you may have seen the classic chemistry demonstration where isopropyl alcohol is put into a five gallon water jug. And once you mix it with air, we create a nice mixture of isopropyl alcohol and oxygen. And now we can ignite it. All right. Well, that was super cool, but what if instead we did it with a 32 gallon trash can? Well, let's go find out. Now that was super cool, and really shows how much pressure and power can be made from combustion. Which at the end of the day is what powers most of our world through cars and power plants and all that stuff. However, this is also really dangerous, so please don't try this at home, especially on the scale that I did. Now I always made sure that I had on proper safety gear, I made sure I did it outside, and away from the open bottle of alcohol. So if you do decide to do this, make sure you do that. With that being said, um, isopropyl alcohol boils at 82 degrees Celsius, or 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is much lower than water. And this means that it evaporates much quicker. So by switching around the alcohol a little bit in the can, we can create a mixture of oxygen and isopropyl alcohol vapors, which can easily be ignited. And since these alcohol molecules are in vapor form, they're much more spread out and thus have a greater surface area to react with the oxygen. So this means that once a flame is provided, this mixture will combust rapidly and form carbon dioxide and water vapor. If you look at the reaction, we see we start with 11 molecules on the left, but after combustion, we have 14. From Avogadro's law, we know that all gases take up the same amount of volume, regardless of their size. So even though those CO2 and water molecules are much smaller, they'll still take up the same amount of room, meaning pressure builds up. In addition to this, they're also heated up by the combustion, meaning they have a much higher pressure due to Charles's law as well. And all the heat comes from all the bonds that are broken in order for combustion to take place. Now the isopropyl alcohol molecule is pretty big, but once it combusts, all those bonds that held it together are broken as smaller molecules are formed, and that creates a lot of heat. And all this pressure really wants to escape, and it has a lot of force. In fact, when I originally used the lid that came with the trash can, it was broken by all the built-up pressure, even though I had it bolted down and a pretty sizable hole. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video and blowing things up and all that sort of stuff, then please leave a like or subscribe. And thanks to all my lovely patrons who really make these videos possible. Thanks.